Hey gang, welcome to Stir Crazy. I'm wearing a mask because I don't know where you've been. Don't worry, I'm not going to rob you. Yet. <laughs> Gonna be making my famous meatloaf recipe. A bit of a different take on meatloaf, but I think you're gonna like it. I don't know why my hands are like this. I like to mix some interesting things in my meatloaf, and first things first, it's time to chop some onions. If you don't know how to chop an onion, you might be an idiot. I'll show you in a couple quick steps how to perfectly dice. First, you wanna get in there. You wanna chop it from the butt part to the and cut off meaningless excess and peel the paper off this thing. Onions make their own paper. I want to have the onion nice and flat on a surface like this that won't move too much. It's clean, fairly clean, I don't know, whatever. Get the biggest knife you got. Start cutting like this. Back into it. Not too far back, you don't want to go all the way through. But just two, maybe three quick slices like this and you're on your way. Call this the divide and conquer method. The next movement Cut down, but not through the back. And once you've got the opposite cuts done, it's all just a flick of the wrist. It's important right now to not catch the coronavirus, which is why I have this mask on. You may be tempted to cover your eyes while chopping so as to not cry, but I have to recommend not covering your eyes while you chop anything with a big knife. Now that we've chopped the onions, it's time for some red peppers. I like to add red peppers for just a little different of a flavor. diced peppers with the onions. I don't know why I put them in a bowl by themselves separately. They're just gonna get cooked together. But look, most meatloafs, you just throw that right in with the meat and stuff. But I like to saute my onions and peppers and season them because they're gonna be the basis of the seasoning for the whole loaf. Love me a loaf. <laughs> not really, it's not hot yet. I know it's a little stir crazy, but this is actually a real recipe. You can try it at home. <laughs> little oil from your favorite olives. And you remember our friends from before. Throw some salt in there. That'll open up all the flavors of the onions and the peppers. I'm talking with my hand. Next, I add a little water to evaporate around them and make them soft. Or you can use chicken stock. I wonder how chicken stock is doing in the market right now. I wish you could smell it. But you can't, because you, you can't put your nose through the internet. Now you just reduce until all the water's gone. Don't catch the virus. Almost all the way reduced. Just like my social life. I miss people. The next thing to do is dump them into the bowl of destiny, where all things will come together and questions will be answered. And don't get rid of this, you're gonna need it later. All that stuck stuff, that's flavor. They're very hot still, so now we wait. Because we're gonna be adding eggs into the meatloaf. If you add eggs to something hot, guess what eggs do? They cook. Heat cooks eggs. Next, you're gonna want about a pound to a pound and a half of ground beef. And remember, always taste as you go along. Now, I'm using 100% ground beef in this recipe. Some people like to add different meats, like ground pork, ground veal. Whew, it's a war zone out there. Holy shit. Or even your neighbor's pet. The next step for these little sons of bees is breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs package actually has meatloaf on the front, but doesn't that look like a, just an awful meatloaf? Almost out of breadcrumbs. But luckily, we have some homemade ones that were made from some old bread that I stole from some guy. Crumb it up. I don't do measurements here. I think that's like a third of a cup. Maybe a little more than that. 
Mix it around, make sure everyone's having fun and are touched by a crumb. Do you want that crummy goodness to soak up the liquid? Liquid crumbs. Something like that. Now's a good time to preheat the oven. Let's go. 400? Let's go right to 400 degrees. I think it's time for the pound of flesh. Vegetables have cooled. Get in there, you son of a b- <laughs> This is ridiculous. That's how you want it to look. Like it just came out of a bowl and it looks like the like someone's brain. Like a very rounded brain. A little salt for the beef. A little- uh, what the f Now it's time for the eggs. For this amount of meat, I like to use two of them, and they're Eglin's best. I've tried Eglin's regular, and they're, they're okay. Two very labeled eggs. Now it's time to get in there. Mmm, don't you just want to bite it? And remember, whether cooking or just going about your daily life, wash your hands for at least 20 minutes. The way I keep track of it is I put on like a jam from like Fish or The Grateful Dead and I stop when I'm ready to kill myself. We've got our mix all together. It's time to put it in the baking dish. This is disgusting looking, but not as gross as the death toll will be in a couple weeks. Time to put her in the pan. That'll do. <laughs> yes. Loaf. Loaf. Wait, does Meatloaf have a 20 minute song? Like the artist Meatloaf? Cause that would be the most appropriate song to play while washing your hands after this. I like to put it in a big pan like this to give it some room so it doesn't feel all trapped and claustrophobic like the rest of us do right now. Okay. One thing I could say about shooting a cooking show by yourself, the, the tripod gets really gross. Just gonna toss this in the oven. For about 30 minutes at first. But now it's time for our secret ingredient. Where'd I put it? Golden mushroom soup that I found in the pantry. Seriously, this makes a world of difference. You're gonna heat the soup up in the pan with the leftover onions and peppers flavors, but you won't actually apply it until the last 15 minutes of that thing cooking. So it's 30 minutes in the oven naked. <laughs> and then like 20 minutes with the soup on it. Gotta reheat this pan, crack open a can of soup, toss her in there. <laughs> this all looks so gross, but I swear to you it tastes good. And you gotta fill this with water and put it in there because the soup is concentrated. Just like the coronavirus is in clusters of concentration. <laughs> We're back. Become soup. Give it a good stir. Let it all come together and just be friends with itself. Mmm. I miss having friends. Just keep stirring and <laughs> wait. I just want to cook when everything's sad. Let's check on the meatloaf. Time to take out our loaf. Time to get our meat out. Ooh, we got a split down the middle. Maybe I didn't add enough egg. I don't know, but it's split. Who cares? It don't gotta look pretty to taste good. Story of my life. Time to add the soup. Ooh, oh, there's like a soup skin. There were some soup snakes. All right, now back into the oven to let this reduce for another 15 to 20. The timer's gone off. Is it ready? Are you ready? Still don't know why it's split, but hey, I'll take it. All that's left to do is let it cool down. I don't know how I'm gonna, do you just, I think you just eat like this during quarantine. All that's left to do is slice her up. Real nice. Mmm. The knife going through it is somehow therapeutic.
Actually, that's really good. <laughs>